Today we're going to be talking about resveratrol. So what is resveratrol? Well, resveratrol is most commonly known for being that special little compound in red wine that causes so much healthy benefits. It's most commonly referred to as an antioxidant. Resveratrol has a number of beneficial effects on our health. It's an antioxidant. It protects the heart and cardiovascular system. It's actually showing promise as an anti-aging compound. It has anti-diabetic effects. It prevents some types of cancer. It protects the skin. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's neuroprotective, or in other words, it protects the brain. Transresveratrol actually increases testosterone levels and has become a new bodybuilding supplement. It also has antiviral effects. It reduces opioid tolerance. Starting to elaborate on those points, as an antioxidant, your body needs oxygen for your metabolism, but one of the natural byproducts is going to be free radicals. Free radicals can attack your tissue, they can attack your DNA. As we age, more and more DNA damage happens. Your DNA can't replicate itself as well, and there are errors, and these errors manifest themselves as aging, wrinkles. You aren't able to have the same energy, strength, Certain things start shutting down. We call it aging heart protection and cardiovascular protection. So it increases nitric oxide production. This is a gas that increases the size of your blood vessels. So why is that good? One, it drops your blood pressure. Two, it increases your circulation. It increases the amount of nutrients that get to your body. So this is extremely helpful. In addition to this, resveratrol actually prevents against platelet aggregation. This causes clots. What's wrong with clots? Well, those clots get dislodged and then they can reach the heart and cause a heart attack or reach the brain and cause a stroke. So we're actually decreasing that with resveratrol. Anti-aging, besides its antioxidant properties that, that we discussed already, it also activates a group of proteins that have been recently discovered called sirtuins. Sirtuins have been heavily researched by David Sinclair and his pharmaceutical company that are trying to create a product that can actually reverse aging and prevent it. And what these do is they stop genes that turn on as we grow older. These genes flip on and naturally start the aging process. Sirtuins block those genes from ever becoming activated. So it's almost like a chain reaction. The sirtuins prevent activation of the aging genes. Resveratrol activates the sirtuin proteins so they can help the anti-aging. So resveratrol to sirtuins equals anti-aging. Cancer. Let's take a look at that. In lab studies involving mice, melanomas were actually prevented by topically placing resveratrol onto their skin. Now, if they took the resveratrol orally by mouth, then it did not prevent the cancer. So it was important that it was topically applied. I'm not sure if stomach acid or certain digestive enzymes broke up its active ability to fight cancer or if it just needed to be in high concentrations in direct contact with the cancer cells themselves. This actually further demonstrated itself with a study with lung cancer. Resveratrol was injected into the peritoneum or body cavity of mice and that actually prevented lung cancer. However, as in the other study, if it was taken orally, then it did not prevent the lung cancer. Okay, so it's also anti-diabetic. Resveratrol has actually been shown to decrease your blood sugar levels, uh, especially after a meal. In addition to that, it also decreases symptoms that are very common to diabetics, such as polydipsia, which is the feeling of excessive thirst, always thirsty, or polyphagia, which is excessive hunger, always hungry. It also decreases loss of body weight. And it's body weight caused by muscle wasting. Diabetics typically, because of the way that the disease or condition works, your body starts stripping down your muscle in your legs, your arms, and you actually increase your gut size from fat. So this will actually decrease your body's inclination to do this as a diabetic. So skin, it protects the skin. Uh, it, it protects it against harmful UV radiation. It's actually being started to be used in body products, not only as a skin protectant, I imagine they'll start to be using it as sunscreen, but it's used in a lot of beauty products to enhance the skin's uh, natural radiance, that type of thing. It actually, when combined with metformin, protects against collagen degradation. Collagen is what gives your skin its elasticity. When you pull on your skin and it goes back to where it was, that's because of the collagen in it. And as you age, 
the ability to produce collagen decreases and results in droopiness and sagging we call wrinkles. Moving on, it's neuroprotective or it protects the brain. And as we were talking about before, it reduces beta amyloid plaques. These are the little compounds that accumulate within the brain that are known to cause Alzheimer's disease. So taking resveratrol will actually decrease beta amyloid plaque formation and therefore protect against Alzheimer's disease and against memory impairment, those types of neurological conditions. Testosterone. It will increase testosterone. Transresveratrol has been shown to increase testosterone. It is being marketed as a sports supplement now, a bodybuilding supplement to help gain mass, muscle mass. Okay, as far as antiviral properties, without any irritation or toxicity to the skin, resveratrol, when applied to herpes simplex virus, such as genital herpes or oral herpes, in other words, it's a cold sore, either one, it actually inhibits the virus replication. It has also been shown to enhance the ability of HIV drugs to decrease the virus. It has also been shown to stop the growth of varicella zoster, influenza, and human cytomegalovirus. Another one we're going to talk about is opioid tolerance reduction. So this is kind of uh, an interesting application. When resveratrol is injected into the spinal column, it actually reduces the subject's opioid tolerance. Opioids are heroin, morphine, things that uh, latch onto the opioid receptors in our brains and give us the pleasure through dopamine release. Well, after a prolonged exposure to these drugs, tolerance builds up, and withdrawal symptoms are extremely painful and hard to deal with. Injecting the spinal column with resveratrol apparently will decrease this opioid tolerance. Well, there you have it, resveratrol, a very interesting compound with a lot of health benefits, potential health benefits. A lot of the times these compounds do get hyped up more than their actual benefits, and results always vary with individuals. So make sure you keep that in mind and you talk to your doctor about supplementing with it.